All right, so we're going to show you how to name or rename a Docker container. So we're going to start off. We're going to show you that uh, we have no current containers running. So we're, we're going to say docker run dash TID. We're going to say silly SQUID um, Ubuntu. So yeah, so we're going to use the Ubuntu image and we're going to name it. Um, silly squid. So we actually have to specify dash dash name. And so this is how you would name a container dash dash name and then the container name, in this case, silly squid, right? So let, let's just run that and now let's check it. So now we have a container up and running and it is named silly squid, right? So let's say if we wanted to rename that container to funny frog, we can do that by saying Docker rename silly SQUID to funny frog, right? Just like that. So Docker rename old name, the old existing name, and the new name that you want to give to the container. So let's run that and then let's just check again. And we can see here it has been renamed to funny frog from silly squid. And you can see um, the container ID is exactly the same, right? This container ID right here is the same as this container ID. Same container, um, still up and running. We, we haven't, it hasn't stopped or anything. Didn't recreate anything. Just took that same container and changed its name. And that's it. It's, it's that easy. So that's pretty much everything we would want to show you on naming or renaming Docker containers. All right, so hopefully you found this video useful. And, um, you know, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Also, you want to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more videos like this. And we have a ton of other great tech related content. We cover a wide variety of things, everything from like Linux to servers, hardware, software, electronics, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, cryptocurrencies, um, you, know, you know, Linux, Windows, Mac OS, all sorts of great stuff you're not going to want to miss out on. Robots, um, programming, coding, all that sort of great stuff. Um, you know, anything DevOps or software developer related, a lot, lot of Linux stuff. So if you don't want to miss out on that stuff and you want your YouTube feed to be all that much better, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss, miss out on the, the great content we have coming up after this. You might want to also check out some of our existing content too. Also, hit the uh, little bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't let you know when we do come out with new videos and you don't want to miss out on those. And um, also leave a comment down below if you know something that I don't know or if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, anything you want to say, not just for me, but for the next person who watches this video, um, definitely leave a comment down below. And that is about it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.